Da, 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 da. Hi there, Chris Courtney here from New Pragmatic. In this video, we'll walk through how to structure your research for presentation to a client or team. Regardless of the size of your project, you'll likely generate far more research than you could or should share in a client or team meeting. With limited time to share your findings, you'll need to boil down your research to present a strategic summary of the work performed. In other words, there's only one rule to follow. Front load the presentation. If you can front load your presentation, it won't matter whether you have a minute or an hour to get your point across. But front loading alone won't make the information sticky enough to linger around in the minds of your audience. That's why I suggest front loading with artifacts. When you intend on people acting on your recommendations, produce an artifact that you can share with the client or with your team. The summary you produce will go by a lot of names. Sometimes it's called an executive summary. Other times it's a one-sheeter. I refer to th this one right here as a one-sheeter, and it's a classic example of the type of artifact that you can produce to reach maximum stickiness with the client or team that you're presenting to. Can you go into further detail than, than what's shown here? Sure, but what I want to emphasize here is that you simply should not dump all your findings into a meeting because a bunch of data won't resonate with the audience, which is why the summary is so crucial to getting your point across. So what goes into a document like this? There are actually four major components present and each maps to the research performed and the resulting guidance or recommendation that we're gonna make. Most of the space is given over to the recommendation with supporting research highlighted in summary form all around it. In this example, uh, the client or team can see that key observations support the recommendation while brief summaries of key user personas and competitors are also provided. These elements work together to provide credibility for the summary that is presented. Sometimes your summary is enough, but other times you'll need to present the work on screen. The summary shown here can map directly to a traditional presentation so long as you front load that presentation with all the important information you have to share. I've, I've simply migrated over to the pre presentation mode of Figma so that we can walk through and kind of see how this breaks down into slide form. We have the summary title, the important stuff, continued more important stuff, key observations one and two, personas, this is who we're targeting, competition, a reminder of the important stuff that we talked at, talked about right at the top, and then an option to answer questions. Even if we get cut off midway through this, because we front loaded this with the important stuff, we still get our point across. And if we have that executive summary or one sheeter available, it allows us to slide that back in as a reminder as people are leaving the meeting or maybe you email it to them, however you get it into their hands, it gives you an artifact that ensures that your presentation and the information you presented as most important resonates and it maintains its stickiness as the days and weeks of the project go by. If you've enjoyed this short video on presenting your research, please click subscribe. And if you're seeking design mentorship, come visit me over at newpragmatic.com. I'm Chris Courtney for New Pragmatic. Thanks for watching.